Hey guys, so today I wanted to share this video to just share a whole bunch of things that you could do while you're quarantined, while you're stuck at home, to be using your time that you're given more wisely or getting something out of this time that you're forced to spend stuck in isolation or yeah, just to shift the focus to be more positive and to focus on the things that you actually can control. So obviously because of the coronavirus outbreak, there's been a lot of devastating effects from that and not only for the people getting sick but a lot of people have been forced out of work and that has had huge financial impacts on people and because a lot of people are forced into lockdown or quarantine I know a lot of people are mentally struggling with being lonely or just being kind of a bit claustrophobic in their own space and not knowing what to do they might be going bored out of their brains but they also might just be feeling really down so I wanted to make this video to just share heaps of different things that you can do to maybe cheer you up or use the time you've been given and I also wanted to talk about you know focusing on what you can control and trying to get the best out of every situation that you're put in so I'm gonna go into that at the end of the video and just really explain in depth my take on it and how to cope with it that's something that I know you guys want to hear like how do you cope with being quarantined or being stuck at home for a prolonged period of time and like how you might cope with not moving as much otherwise here are a whole heap of things that you can do while you are stuck at home to be completely honest I really don't have that much time to, to do them because even though I'm like not like stuck at home as well I have so much studying to do so if you don't have to study heaps, definitely try out all of these things. <laughs>
lights go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again When the stars are aligned We will dance In the meadow On our favorite place When spring is coming
that is a whole heap of things that I came up with. Honestly, I had so many more ideas. There's so many things that you can do while quarantine. You could garden if you have access to a garden. You could do makeup, like learn how to do makeup if you don't know, like me. Or you could do like makeup tutorials. You could redecorate, rearrange your room. I wanted to do that, but I actually don't have that time, even though we're in quarantine uni life you know play board games if you have people with you do puzzles play card games you could cut your hair i know so many people have started cutting fringes because they're like going bored out of their brains it's just important to focus on what you can control and look at the positives like you have so much time now you could be using that time to finally do something that you've always wanted to do or things that you need to do like get around to those things that you've always been meaning to get around to. You can be productive, use this time to focus on yourself. So I wanted to have a little chat about how to cope with being quarantined or on lockdown. Okay, so the first thing I know a lot of people are worried about is how do you cope with not moving as much? So how can they cope with not moving as much? So in terms of like training, obviously that's going to be very affected for a lot of people. I don't know about other people, but for me, my lockdown, like my country is like, I don't know, they're being very strange about the rules and stuff. So like my training only got closed yesterday. So like for me, I was still doing my normal routine, just like I was doing uni at home. And honestly, most of the time, most days I'm like sitting at, sitting studying anyway, and then I get up to train. So training is my time where I'm like obviously running heaps, you know, working out, but also it is like a good mental, mental break. And I love that atmosphere and being in that place. And I already feel a bit down knowing that it's closed for we don't know how long but like I'm still able to go out for walks like go to the park go work out so I know a lot of other people are just stuck at home in terms of moving yes you'll probably be you know not getting as many steps but you can still do like a whole bunch of different you know workouts like find all these different ways to work out because you're in a situation where you have to kind of experiment and find new ways like adapt you can definitely get enough physical activity done but for the most part, you probably will be, you know, sitting down more. I wanted to kind of address that for people struggling to cope with that. First of all, obviously, it's only temporary. Remind yourself that it's not forever. Like, it's just a small blip in your life. You're not going to be remembering, oh, I was like quite sedentary for a few weeks back in 2020. Like, you know, it's not going to affect you in the long run. Like, remember, animals go into hibernation. They like literally go into hibernation and then they come out and they thrive and they go back to the wild. They go back to their life. Like, it doesn't is not going to make them get a chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Like you're gonna be fine. You can, you know, stay on top of some type of exercise, but if you, you know, can't access a gym, like you just can't, and you know you're gonna lose some type of muscle mass, like obviously you can still do push-ups and stuff at home, but maybe you'll not be as good at pull-ups when you get back to the gym, or you might not be able to deadlift as much. That's completely fine, like that happens. Like, well, like it's like an off season, like you're gonna to have to let your fitness drop a little bit, but you can just get it back again. That's the beauty of the human body. We are always like changing. We're constantly, everything is temporary. So, you know, if you do like lose a bit of muscle mass, you can get it back when everything goes back to normal. So don't, you know, think it's the end of the world in that way. Just remember, like, you're not going to fall apart. It's not the end of the world. Everything will bounce back. Like, it's all temporary. Like, you know, when you have, you get sick, like, everyone's experienced an injury or an illness before. And when you are really sick and all you can do is rest, our bodies are good at healing and recovering and the way we do that is resting. So when we have to rest and rejuvenate to let our body heal, even though you're sick and you need that time to recover, when you come back from that, you're going to be a bit weaker, but your body will get its strength back and bounce back and function perfectly well again, even better than before. So just remember it's normal for your body to have periods of rest and it does heal always and you know, just think of it as a healing time, a time to rejuvenate, to refresh. Maybe for some people this happened in their life at a perfect time when they needed to rest. Maybe they were like just run down, they've just been doing too much for too long. Even though you need a break, obviously I know mentally it does feel really bad sometimes. Like just remind your body like, nah, I needed this, I'm going to enjoy this. Like obviously you don't have to be completely sedentary, but because um, that's not actually healthy to just literally be sedentary all day. But you still won't be moving as much. Um, throughout the day like just it's it's okay like it's fine you'll be okay in terms of people worried about like their fitness or strength or their body like your body is really smart it will bounce back it'll be okay like and you can obviously um, do things to maintain its health while you're in lockdown so another point I wanted to make was um, I know it is still lonely and it, you feel a bit claustrophobic being quarantined or, or isolated 
But if you think about it, in history there have been prisoners of war or people who have been forced to hide in attics for years, like years, like not a few weeks, not a few months, but years and years and years. Um, obviously a famous example is Anne Frank, who had to hide in an attic for like over two years. Um, but there's been other prisoners who have had to hide for decades. I don't want to, you know, say, oh, someone had it worse than you. But when you think about it like that, our situations are not anything like that. So when we think about it this way, like you have a whole house, you have rooms, you, if you're, um, if you're lucky, you might have a street, a suburb, a backyard, a park. Even though society is kind of, it come to a bit of a halt at the moment, you still have a whole world that you can kind of play with or use and just a lot of opportunities around you. So it really is up to you how you decide you're going to see this situation or tackle this position that you're in. You just have to focus on what you can control and um, look at the positives. So you can control, you know, how you spend your time in isolation, your productivity, you know, you can get things done, you can study. If you're at uni or at school, you can use this time to get on top of all your work. But also if, you know, if you're at school and you've always wanted to be better at a subject or get better grades, you can be like, all right, I have, I'm forced into a situation where I literally have nothing else to do. So I may as well do that thing that I've always always like wanted to do. So you can control your productivity, but you can also control your routine. So something that I always do, and I've obviously continued doing in quarantine, is making a to-do list of all the things that I want to get done that day or achieve that day. And you can also set out like a morning routine or a day routine and just write in order the things you want to get done. You know, you can include the homework you want to get done, the little chores you want to get done, what type of training you want to get done. If you are really struggling with like how to do your day, you can write it in order. You know, you can be like, get up, get up, have a good brekkie, practice some yoga, get done heaps of homework, then renovate my room, vacuum in the lounge room, cook a nice meal. So just plan your day so it's like full of things and look at the opportunity how to maybe study more or cook nutritious new recipes, cook something for your family if you're not alone. You know, experiment in the kitchen, experiment in terms of making up workouts. Just get around all the little projects that you may have been putting off or have always wanted to do find new and alternative ways to work out that you might love i love making up circuits and making up different little workout routines you could get into yoga pilates we're very lucky because imagine being on quarantine without like technology like what would you actually have done like 50 years ago besides like cleaning cooking and like reading we have like a lot that we can do because of technology you can like make videos you can research things online you can follow people's videos doing things like creating something or doing a stretch flow. So just really focus on what you can control and be like, okay, I've been put in this situation, may as well make the most out of it. I also just wanted to add a little comment for those who might be struggling with recovery, whether that might be like an eating disorder or overtraining, and that I know this would be a very hard time for you if you're suddenly forced to do the thing that you should be doing because recovery is really hard, obviously. And if you are in recovery and you're struggling with this time, I think maybe you should look at it from a different perspective and tell yourself that this is this has happened at the perfect time in your life and this is the universe's way of telling you recover. Like, I'm just putting you in a situation where you need to recover. Pretend the universe is just like you know, a loving parent or a loving health professional. When you have a mental health disorder, like an eating disorder, it's not like you can go to the doctor and get um, medication or something like that. You go to health professionals who are gonna like help you on your journey, which you must take the steps to do yourself. So pretend this is like a loving, really good healthcare professional who's giving you medicine and that medicine is quarantining you, a forced lockdown for you to just do the work to heal. Be like, you know what, this has happened at the perfect time. I know it sucks and it's really hard mentally, but I'm just going to use this time to just rejuvenate and recover and heal and just not move as much. Now I think about it, I'd empathize with those who are on, you know, who are struggling with obesity and they have been, you know, doing a lot of moving and because a lot of people find just moving more throughout the day um, would help them. But if they're stuck on lockdown, like think about how hard that would be for their own health situation. So remind yourself that you're lucky for your health situation, that it is positive for you and kind of decide to use that. Honestly, the longer you take to recover, the longer time you spend at war with yourself, the, you know, the more time you lose when you could be recovered and healthy and just enjoying life and thriving. But basically, everything is temporary. Everything will go back to how it was 
in time we just have to be patient look after each other look after ourselves and just focus on the positives and what we can control because that's all we can do and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you're all staying healthy and surviving and coping okay with everything. I really appreciate all your support and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!